destroyer mode. Where does the switch come from? The overdrive, the berserker mode, the full on destroyer that will not stop. I think this is something that is learned and it is a hard lesson and not everyone gets it. And it is an important lesson, a critical one. It is the thing that allows you to go the extra distance. Where you're going, you're going to need to take with you the greatest attribute that has ever been given to you by God, your confidence. You see, your confidence is your ability to trust yourself. That, that same steadfast belief that I am enough as I am. Not because of what I've purchased, not because of what I've been given, because confidence that is built on items will be lost if the items are lost. Yo, we all are great. We all should think that we're great. There's no reason for you to not think that you're great. If you don't think you're great, ask yourself why. Why don't you think the highest of yourself? Listen to me very closely. Y'all running from obstacles when in fact it's the obstacle that's going to take you to the next level. Like y'all running from pain. Y'all running from challenges. You telling me how difficult your life is. Do you understand it is the difficulty that's going to prepare you and take you to that next level? To dig a little deeper. To push a little harder. Get after it. You complain about your job. You complain about where you are financially. You complain about your relationship. You complain about your opportunities. You complaining, complaining, complaining. Listen to me. You murmuring and complaining. You complaining and complaining and complaining. Shut up! Stop complaining and do me a favor. If you want to make a difference, all you got to do is one thing. This is how you get started. You want something different? Listen to me. All you got to do is make a decision. That's it. It takes both emotion and logic to reach your maximum potential, to really give everything you have to go beyond your limits. Because emotion and logic will both reach their limitations. And when one fails, you need to rely on the other. When it just doesn't make any logical sense to go on, that's when you use your emotion, your anger, your frustration, your fear to push further, to push you to say one thing, I don't stop. Success is being able to go beyond your ability and see it as a vehicle. Your ability puts you in a room. When, when you got in the room, you can use the rest of your talents, the rest of your skill set, the more than just your physical things that, that make you you. Your confidence is bust, be based on something that is deep to the soul, to the core. And the only thing that resonates that deep is confidence. It is, I believe in me because God believed in me. You never know which one is going to turn it all on. Even the bad experience. Sometimes from the bitterest experience comes the greatest awakening. So let down the barriers, take down the walls. The same wall that keeps out disappointment keeps out happiness. Let life touch you. Don't let it kill you, but let it touch you. When your feelings are screaming that you have had enough, when you think you are going to break emotionally, override that emotion with concrete logic and willpower that says one thing, I don't stop. Fight weak emotions with the power of logic. Fight the weakness of logic with the power of emotion. And in the balance of those two, you will find the strength and the tenacity and the guts to say to yourself, I
I don't stop. You get hungry by finding something that's you. I believe that all of us are born unique, but most of us die copies. You gotta find out what is it that turns you on, what resonates with you. I speak to change lives because somebody spoke and changed my life. So this is my passion. This is my drive. This is something that I feel in my heart. And, and so the key to that hunger-driven life is a heart-centered life. Our confidence must be based on the fact that we put in the work. When it's 1 a.m. and everyone else is going to bed, you're still working on developing the game plan to win in life. When it's 1 a.m. and you're in the gym and you're going for five more reps and you're fixing the flaws that are there, you're breaking through the barrier and adding to your cardio. When you work on the things that make you weak and strengthen yourself, it allows you to walk into the setting settings there you failed before, knowing that this is a different day. Whatever it is that beat me before, must be this version. And this version knows what it faced before, and I will not lose. Don't just talk. Don't just think. Don't just dream. The only thing that matters is that you actually do. So, do.